Hi, I'm Alemi from Yayo Botanica. Welcome back. So great to see you all. Thank you so much for all the love, the support, and sharing us with others. We're www.yeyeo, and we're a spiritual and wellness supplier, which is why I do videos about all things spiritual. I want to shout out, shout out, shout out, pew, 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 all my people from Boston, Massachusetts. Woohoo! So great to see you all. Thank you for joining us and welcome back. And I'm Alemi. Today I thought I could share with you all some juicy, juicy information about the flame. When we do candle work or when we burn candles anywhere in a restaurant, in our spiritual space, just anywhere, the candle has a meaning. But when we especially are doing ritual and prayer with candles, that's when the true meaning comes forward. So today, let's see how the candle gives you messages. So candle flame reading is really been around as long as there are people, as long as there are candles, as long as there's flames to be read from a spiritual perspective. And so um, in ancient times, whether it be ancient in Africa, ancient in Europe, ancient in South America, wherever it's been where people have used um, candles in spirituality, flame reading has been around. Some of the first candles that were ever used were from liquid, something that was already liquid, not solid like this, and then a flame at the top or a wick inside. So the wick would be put in a liquid, whether it be lard, palm oil. And in Africa, palm oil lamps were one of the first types of lamps that were ever used. And so they were called lamps, which moved on to being candles. Why? Because we couldn't carry lamps around everywhere. In ancient times, we see in some of those ancient movies, we see them with this big giant torch that they walked around with in order to light, light, light the way. Or we see lamps that are kerosene lamps or lamps with lamp oil where we turn the wick up and down with like a holder or a covering on the top. So all these different methods have been ways to be used for lighting, but in a spiritual perspective, people still read the flame. Even with can, um, candle holders, sometimes people still read to see if the candle holder itself has any black soot, has any white soot, things like that. Um, and you can freely watch my candle uh, glass reading video so that you can learn how to read the glass, the different colors that may be there. And that also is driven by the type of flame that you have um, on that candle or the wick. So in many circles who do folk magic, different shamanistic practices and so on, Candle divination is also something that people do. They do different kinds of readings using candles, using the wick. Um, for very advanced people, you can ask questions and the wick will respond, right? So that's definitely something to know. So I want to share with you this video very specifically is about reading candle wicks through on flames, let me say that over, reading candles with wicks, reading the flame, whether it be it's a lamp and you can put the wick up that you can see what's happening, but anyway where they, that you can see this combination of these two things. So I like it when you first turn on the candle and the flame is poof, See, just like it just did, I love that. We're gonna have some great moments with this candle in the video today. But when the, when the, the, the candle and the wick kind of gives off this, this, this black little smoke, this puff. 
Sometimes it's thought of that that's where the spirit is removing negative vibrations to really kind of get into the work, get into the intention of why you're burning the candle. Remember the different colors, we have given a free color chart in our website. Um, link is below to be able to get a free color chart to know about different color candles that you can use and how different colors work in spirituality. Today we have green, so comment below if you remember what you can use green for. Um, so if a flame is extremely high, so this one is a beautiful flame. It's about an inch and a quarter, but sometimes it goes really, really, really high on the flame. Well, there goes some more black smoke, right? So that's strong, right? It says that there's a strong push of energy behind the candle, behind the prayer, behind the, the goals and the intentions of the candle. So it says that spirit is pushing this conversation, pushing it, to, to um, kind of make that breakthrough or pushing your, your intentions to the higher realms, right? So when that flame is nice and tall, the taller it is, more energy, and sometimes it'll go up and down, right? This is a nice, beautiful flame that we have here um, today. So if the flame though gets very, very low, that can be that there's a problem, there's an obstacle, there's something that you need to add to this work in addition to clarity around doing work. So this video is gonna be maybe a little bit longer than some of the others because I wanna go through a couple different um, candle styles for you. So if you have a very steady flame, it's just sitting there mm, at pose, right? They say that that is when spirit is really kind of get working on this clear, solid result, right? So it's kind of like aggregating all this information, aggregating your prayer, the circumstances, everything going on to kind of just hold that. It's kind of like thinking, thinking, thinking <laughs> while they're, they're working on your intentions and kind of putting things in place. Sometimes it's even other getting some of your guides together to work on this work. Steady flame, as I said before, is like spirit um, analyzing. So the other one is a twin flame, right? You guys love that. If anyone wants me to do my version of twin flames uh, video, comment below, because I know there's lots of talk about twin flames and all of that. But in this case, we're physically talking about two fl twin flames, right? Sometimes that's two spirits coming forward, two guides coming forward to work on it. Sometimes it's about two people, depending on what the work is and when this twin flame shows up. Sometimes it's an unfolding, something to come, and Spirit is saying that there's more than one thing going on, right? Sometimes it is that there's a negative energy that's around. So twin flames have a couple different meanings. A dancing flame, right? If the flame is dancing a little bit too much, a little bit of dance is nice, right? But too much dancing can be that, and being too erratic can be that there's interference around this work or just around in the environment. Um, when we have a flickering flame, or sometimes it's kind of like jumping, right? That's really great to know that spirit is present and, and really kind of being really, really, really present in this moment for this. It doesn't mean that they're not present normally, but sometimes um, there's certain guides that kind of will make that happen to kind of show you. Up oh, there we go, a nice little flicker there. So then we have the crackling and popping flames. Pop, 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 pop. That usually means there's quite a bit of interference. Could be some um, pushback from your intention. Um, sometimes crackling flames means it's kind of like breaking through. It's very loud and chatty. Bah, 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 you know, a lot of crackling going on. There's a lot of um, communication going on on the other side and or pushback with that work, right? Um, or resistance, I should say. When the candle goes out, 
So if we're burning the candle and it goes out, in my view, spirit's like, we're done. We're done with that. <laughs> Either the prayer isn't right or clear, the intention, and, and or spirit says, okay, whatever you lit this for, we're done with that. Let's move on to some other method. Sometimes it is that you need to do something to yourself. And I'm gonna, the next thing I'm going to mention really kind of drives that home. So maybe you need to incorporate something else. But at the end of the day, once a candle goes off, spirit's done with it. If you're not able to light the candle, you're doing everything. It's not lighting. They're like, Psh, come back with something else. That ain't going to work. Or you got to take a spiritual cleanse on yourself. Spiritually clean the environment. Um, Sometimes it is the, the, can, the candle in particular that you've used for this intention. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to see it. It's not working. I've even had people where they've bought candles and it breaks right outside their car at their house or before they get in. I say, well, spirit's already taken that as a breakthrough. And they're saying, well, let's move on to something else. Right. Um, and two, uh, two more. So the dimming flame, when it gets really low, really low, low energy, not a lot of energy behind this work. Again, goes back to intention, prayer, preparation. Intention, prayer, and preparation, right? And then the last one that I, uh, the second to last one that I would say is that white smoke that comes off of the candle right? It's burning, but there's like more white smoke than there's, there's dark. That also is a sign of very, very elevated spirits that are coming to oversee or to look at some of the work that the person is doing. And I would say that those are maybe one of, some of the, the biggest things that you'll see with candles but i'm going to give one last sweet thing so this is kind of candles kind of glass and but i know some of you will want to put this in the comments so i want to answer it before you do what happens when the candle explodes right the flame is very very hot usually when that happens it's usually pretty high when that happens, it does not normally explode on small flames. Two, if the, fl the wick is too close to the glass, it will heat the glass too much, it will explode. That, that's just chemistry. That has nothing to do with spirituality, right? That's one. But there are times the flame starts this way and then it starts getting closer and closer to the glass. Boom, breakthrough, right? So I would say, look at your situation, read the flame, look at your prayer, your intentions. Candle magic is one of the most potent, strong, powerful, immediate, fast working forms of mysticism, mystical work that you could ever, ever do. So I wish you a lot of luck, a lot of success, and let me know what goes on when you burn candles. And see you next time. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe.